John Fedger here with Dan behind me, and we are going to go through his uh, newest acquisition here, a good-looking, kind of smaller on the length side, uh, double wide. Uh, you're going to have new siding put on? Absolutely. Excellent. Vinyl siding. That's going to take 20 years off it. What, what age is it? This is a 1979. Mind if we go in? Yeah. I like this fenced yard here, but you got to share it with the neighbor? Yeah, it's a little interesting. Let's take a look in. Nice carpet. This was uh, left by the previous owners, right? Absolutely. All right. Okay. Now, you did get a new roof on it. We'll have to take a look at that when we go out here. Let's uh, do panoramic here. Now, what is all going to be done? Um, so, you, honestly, this is a total remodel. You know, we're working on all the windows, this kitchen, the drywall. Unfortunately, the lights don't work right now, but the drywall needs to be repaired. As you can see, there's no taping or, um, you know, the mud work is very poor. Um, the previous owner had some panels right here where you see the liquid nails, um, you know, the pull off of the drywall. So and then this is all going to be, yeah, just clean dry drywall. Clean drywall. This is bedroom number one that was a den, it looks like. Yeah, it was a den um, without a closet. You can see there's a double door right here. Mm -hmm. um, Nice. Okay. A little bit smaller, but this is fun. Yeah, this will be a good, you know, will be a good office or a taller room. And you were able to give access. This is new, right? This was um, the bathroom, and this is going to be now a bigger bathroom. Yeah, well... This yeah, was the closet area? This was a closed-off closet area that the previous owner um, wanted to make bigger in terms of the bathroom. Uh, to give you a heads up, the previous owner only lived here for a couple months. He wasn't allowed to live here after he bought the home. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a big project to undertake because he wasn't entirely um, knowledgeable in terms of what he was putting together. And it was all using secondary parts uh, from, you know, scrap parts from places that, uh, you know, he got those at. So, um, we got a window here that uh, unfortunately needed to get reframed a little bit to get sized appropriately. But um, Okay, but that's going to look nice when yeah, it's, it's done, gonna, are you kidding me? They'll, they'll be done with this in, in a day or two. This is cool. I mean, this is, how, how many total square feet is this? Um, actually, it's like only like nine six. This is uh, our bathroom that uh, I don't like the way how the walls you come out, me. so we're going to fix the shower. Okay. A good looking shower, but again, you want to sell it for cash for top yeah. dollar retail price. It's a good market. And all the floors are going to be redone. Of course. With, uh, with some baseboards if we need to have them. Again, things that you might not do if you're going to sell this home uh, via payments. Uh, but again, depending on the exit strategy, uh, you just want to make sure um, the home looks good. You can sell it for retail. Oh, let's go at the back. Okay. And okay. take a uh, take a look back there. Again, just so when when you got it, there were there was no siding. How long was the park giving the uh, previous folks to kind of add siding? Well, that's I think one of the reasons why they got evicted. Oh, okay. So the previous owner happened to work here, and they're not allowed to. Uh, no employees are allowed to live in the community. The pre the previous siding was rotted, so um, throughout basically the whole entire property. So we kind of needed to fix that just for ethical standards in my book and uh, you know you can see we're repairing the soffit and the fascia um, where the sure are. meets the roof basically so the roof didn't even go over the siding last time the drip line was and it's tough oh you can't see the roof at all but the roof is completely new huh yeah and to give you a heads up of the um, siding color that's it's going to be the color of the shed so we're going to have white skirting, white trim, and the siding, vinyl siding is going to be that color right there. Nice. Scottish thistle. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy. Yeah. Okay, so it's a 1979 double, double wide. Now, you're already in the park. Has being here, and you know, people obviously see what you're doing. You're making some noise, literally. literally. Um, has that led to anything else? Are people yeah, talking? Yeah, so... Or bad? Um, you know, I've networked with all the neighbors. I know all the handymen, so I have my bird dog set up. 
Um, but I also have three more homes that are coming to me just because of this. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I'm like a sign in the window or mostly from the park manager? Uh, park from... manager as well as the sign in my window Heck does yeah. help um, significantly. And everybody I get a chance to, you know, that passes by, I, I make sure I go and talk to them, you know, and say hi. Yeah, it's actually, uh, you know, a couple of the, the residents have told me that I'm in the park of service. Hell so, yeah, no, you are. Yeah, not a this, lot of people would take this project. This was, this was an eyesore. It's, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's still it's an so eyesore, so but yeah, it's definitely... The neighbor, she said her uh, husband or, you know, ex-husband, uh, a late husband would have been, you know, rolling over in his grave if he saw what this house looked like. Wow. So, oh, you wow. know, I'm, and she's really excited that, you know, it's clean now, it's yes. got new siding, and... Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. Neighbors so, are all cool? Everybody's, friendly? Everybody's friendly. They're washing over the home when they're not here. And I love that. So it's, it's good. What's the tur the turnaround time as well? I mean, obviously um, still a bunch of work to do. Yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, but uh, honestly, I think once it's done, we could sell this thing in like a week or two. So Agreed. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. There's no other double wides for sale in the park. So that's something that's pretty big. So less than 30 days to get this one on the market. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I've kind of already preliminary, like done some preliminary marketing right now, but um, yeah, it should be pretty Heck good. Yeah. You mind if we come back and take a look Absolutely. at what this looks like when it's all done? All right. <laughs> All right, we're back at the project site. Uh, was it three, four weeks later? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to go through. This is kind of midway through. It's not really midway through because you expect maybe another 10 days mm -hmm. and everything's going to be done. Correct. Okay. Well, there's still a lot to do. We're going to see that. But let's kind of see a kind of uh, the yeah the halfway point, um, so to speak. Um, Dan, let's see what we're looking at. So the floors have... Uh, anything done with the floors? So we were going to originally keep some carpeting there, but because this became a bigger job and people were walking on it and we had a lot of snow, um, it was just getting saturated and there were some soft spots near the register, so I thought it would probably just be a better idea to lift up the carpets. And uh, I'm going to plan on putting a vinyl flooring um, that's going to lead from this room ultimately to the kitchen and the hallway and the bathrooms. And, so all this will be vinyl sided. Yeah. You got uh, there was some soft spots here. Yeah. And actually, we found soft spots around replaced. all the registers um, in the home for some some reason. And all that was done is just this. This was cut back, yeah. obviously, to, to this to the studs, to the joists, and then uh, yeah. put in. Excellent. Okay. So and then this huge difference in the drywall. That yeah. was not done last time. No, we've put around 50 to 60 pieces of sheetrock in this house. Um, Incredible. Kind of crazy. The walls were just in such bad shape. And uh, with the pre-existing conditions of the exterior the way it was, uh, the walls you know, were saturated from an insulation standpoint. And I did not want to have any liability with that. And, you know, we were replacing so many pieces at certain points in the house that it just made more sense to do the whole home because, you know, frankly, the the the, the drywall um, work was going to be a lot different. And what I mean by that is the texturing. So from one to another. Yeah, like basically, give you a point of example. One thing we're going to do right here is um, we have brand new drywall. We have brand new drywall here, and just to take a step back, we're going to put brand new drywall oh, here. Oh, this is all being taken so, out. So, what's the point of having brand new drywall next to it when you got this really horrible sheetrock next to it? It's going to be completely different texture. So you're exactly right. Um, and and this home again is going to be sold cash or bank financing, but it's certainly going to be a top. You know, it's going to be a high quality pro product. Yeah, we're and you removed so the, a lot of the drywall and then the insulation behind the drywall. Yeah, we put new insulation. So this is really okay. This home has been is better than when it first came off of the fa the factory line. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. This room, so already uh, this wall is how did, was this all exposed before? Um, so or right here at one the, when the I bathroom? first purchased this house, we actually had this. This was closed off. And uh, this closet way led to a back section of the bathroom. I think we might have had it on the video last. Uh, but um, we decided to section it off in, in here and make a, a nice size closet. And, you know, I wanted a, a closet because it counts as a bedroom. 
Of course. This would be a nice office too, but it's yeah, got it's a really sweet. Um, it's a good sized bedroom. Yeah, it's got a really big closet. It's seen a lot well. smaller. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, you could fit a dresser in there. I mean, it is for obviously a child, or it's going to be a great office for somebody. So. Okay. So with some imagination, the walls are painted. They're they're already. Oh, your guy was through here today. Yeah. And uh, mudded and. Got everything looking nice and smooth. So, uh, just to give you a heads up, this is the kitchen. There's going to be nice, probably in a week, we're going to have cabinets all here. Um, uh, leading up to here, you know, a nice steel sink. Um, That's what people want to see. Yeah. And um, all this looks great. And then you made the wall. Do you uh, yeah, so that was close a that door. in? Yeah, so that's going to be close to a uh, okay. single door. And this is going to have uh, French French doors as well. New water heater as well? Uh, yeah, and that, that wasn't planned. But <laughs> <laughs> such is uh, the experience with a lot of this project. So we noticed down here on the floor, still just uncovered, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, that's... Yeah, we got some gaps there, but fine. we can just shoot that, like, filled, styrofoam fill stuff. You can? Absolutely. Um, to close off those gaps. Bathroom looks very nice. New, all this is new? Yeah, this is a new shower insert, shower tub insert. Just one piece? Oh. One piece. It's very easy for my guys to just install it and be done with it, as opposed to building a custom. This is excellent. Now the blue, is this because it is for the wet areas? Yeah, it's moisture resistant drywall. Excellent. Because, yeah, just drywall here, but then there's drywall right here. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's the, not the moisture resistant. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So we'll ultimately just paint up top there. And, um, hey, you added a fan? Yeah, we have a ceiling fan. I'm not sure if it's connected. Oh. My God, my, the, the oh, that's right. I said he took it off. But nice. It off. Okay, commode will be right there. Mm -hmm. This looks great. So this is going to be, this is a two bathroom? Yeah, two bedroom, uh, three bedroom, two bedroom. Yes. And this room, this was dark when we looked at it the first time. This is a good size bedroom. You might be able to tell from the video. Uh, plenty big closet. Nice view outside. Yeah, the lot's pretty nice. You can see the skyline and then the mountains uh, you know, on two different sides. So it kind of gives people that. City nature feel. Again, a lot of people think that the uh, soft spots, you know, are a big deal. But how long did you say? Would you say that that took? That that um, would take right there. They from did start it, to finish. They did it in like ten minutes. Honestly. Okay, ten twenty minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> and then this huge master bedroom. Okay. Wow. Oh my. The drywall, and then these brand new windows. I mean, this is why you're asking you know, what you're asking, but the home certainly speaks for itself. You've taken something that's down, needed so much work. Yeah, the numbers don't work out. Now, that's, you, that's you the, added that? Yeah, that's a ceiling fan as okay. well. Wow, you put in the whole tub. This was not here and that turns on. before. <laughs> this looks great. This was, yeah, just a big hole and indentation, yeah. right? And even this wall right here was cut up into where those closets were in the, both bedrooms, the master and that small office room. So. Well, and the, I mean, the, the outside, you already have that um, skirted. Still a construction oh, so. site. <laughs> Good boy, Eric. Don't want to get you in trouble. Right on. Excellent. Thank you for walking us through this. Yeah, no problem. Painted all this? Yeah, we painted the shed. It's got to get another coat, I think, still. But, okay. Um, yeah. Sorry. Any complaints about the material? No, I mean, it's definitely messy. But uh, my full intentions are to get a leaf blower, clean it up, <laughs> mulch around, and you know, definitely pick it up. But f compared to what it was, um, we're pretty much getting like things. So. This is awesome. So we're inside the home now. Dan, please take us through everything that we're looking at. This looks nothing like the home that we just saw uh, that we that we toured. What, maybe, is that five weeks ago, six yeah, weeks ago? That. Longer, maybe? Yeah, probably longer. longer. It's taken a little while, but... Now, we're looking at finished walls here. These are textured, these are painted, uh -huh. or we're just primed? Uh, well, they're primed, they were painted. Um, this is actually a drywall that we installed in the house. As opposed to paneling. Yeah. But when you got it, there was was it all gutted, or were there, was there some paneling yeah, basically here? Basically, what you're looking at right here, um, to the end of the counters, that is all new drywall. 
Um, and you know, it just it just kind of worked itself out that way. Um, it was in very bad shape. Um, we had to cut holes into the house to bring the shower inserts and uh, you had to cut like entire holes right here yeah, where this window is yeah well it wouldn't fit through the door so um, <laughs> you know while we were redoing the um the you know the outside as well as the drywall it just kind of made sense for us to make a bigger hole because we we're also putting in new windows too so reframing new windows that's what i'm noticing so all of these windows are new. how many windows throughout the whole home uh i think 10. holy crap okay so 10 new windows were those specs Specially ordered, or uh, we actually got them at Home Depot. They just have to follow city code in yeah. terms of the uh, UV perfect um, range of you know what it's supposed to have. So. Well, these are a lot better than what was there. Yeah, um, they were. Still <laughs> you're going to have um, baseboards. Yeah, around we're most of the boards around uh, you know all the finished floors. So the finished floors are new as well. Um, we had to fix some soft spots around the floor registers as well as the front door and then we're also going to have that baseboard that goes above here. We added the lighting over here because it was lacking light and there was no light in this room. So we added the switch right here that uh, gave us these twin lights um, around the window. So we needed some lighting and then uh, And this is, tell me about the kitchen. What kind of countertop is that? I mean this is just all new, right? So yeah, this is new. This is uh, from Micah. You can just pick this up at Home Depot. I do have a cabinet guy that ordered his cabinets, but I was told that you can definitely find some better deals elsewhere. Um, you know, one thing that we will be doing, granted if my buyer is finalized, we are going to add uh, cabinets above this refrigerator and a pantry that will go down here. That'll look good. Like additional cabinet space. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and then uh, right here we have a utility room that was definitely a big project. Um, We've got a bunch of tools in here now, so excuse the mess, but, um, you know, the floor underneath it from the previous water heater, it was all rotted, so we had to gut the floor. Um, we just had paneling behind it, and all the wires and water lines were all exposed. We did add this light nice. to it, so that kind of gives it a nice feature. You have the kind of recessed light there. You've got yeah. these beautiful recessed lights here. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, everything is just textured. Everything looks great. Wow, this yeah. looks nothing like before. And now this room that was a closet or something before. Yeah, this you was, closed we're the not wall really in here. Sure, what this? Uh, okay, so what you're looking at right here, this was a, a double door, and we just wanted to fit one door because it just doesn't make sense to have some bedroom with two doors. I don't know. This is going to definitely be an office for the person who's buying mm -hmm. it. Um, and uh, we, you know, installed a big closet. There was no closet um, when we, you know, first took over the home. Yeah, this was all open, right? Yeah, this, this was, was going a wall. This was a wall. And the bathroom was on the yeah, other the side there. The bathroom was all open, so there was no walls right here. And this leads to the other closet, and then the bathroom would be over here. But this was all open. You you so completely closed. changed the design of this home. Yeah. Well, you know, That's in awesome. order to sell a home, you need some closets. I feel like. <laughs> no, you don't. That's a myth. <laughs> and huge bedroom, master yeah, bedroom. Definitely big. Um, Is it okay if I walk on my oh, shoes? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, exterior door here. Where's that going? Uh, this is a bedroom door. Oh, bedroom door. Yeah. Okay. So we that's have nice. doors. Uh, I think we're bringing that one back though. But yeah, that's just a standard door that you get at Home Depot. And then uh, we have our bathroom over here. This is incredible. I remember this just being torn up. <laughs> yeah. This was elevated or dropped yeah, down or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the uh, commode will go right there. Yeah. And then the uh, sink. Yeah. So yeah, right that, there. that floor is actually going to be connected within a week um, in terms of hooking up all the, you know, the appliances as well as uh, or getting the appliances and getting the vanity set up and everything. So gorgeous. Nice. All right, huge room, huge room. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the third bedroom. I call this a third. Would you call that first a bedroom uh, or an yeah, office? You know, I call it for, for a toddler, definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but uh, this is. Uh, this is a fairly spacious bedroom. Yeah, you can definitely size fit a uh, queen size in here. So normal closet. Mm -hmm. Perfect, nice outside. The neighbors must be thrumming. Everyone's yeah, happy with the park. Just she's so stoked. Um, this I mean, looks great. Man. Yeah, thank you. Um, Incredible. And you have another bathroom here. That'll just be yeah. This is okay. A big you bathroom have all the pieces. Here. Just need to put them in. Sure. Yeah. We just got to do the installation on car so that we can get a big. Uh, 
dramatic, <laughs> you know, uh, reveal here. This is gorgeous. So you saw what the outside looked like, uh, where it was, um, there was no siding on it. Here is what the outside of the home looks like now. This is the exact same home as you saw before. There's still some boxes out here for the siding. There's a stove. Look at this. Uh, what was the cost on siding the outside, the exterior of the home? Um, I spent, it was around like two or three grand. Okay, and I see the advertising in the window. That's been helpful? Yeah, it's huge. Nice. Absolutely huge. Look at that. Let them know what you do, exactly. How did you, how did you find this home? Um, I actually um, networked with the park manager at the time. Okay. And, oh, it's um, a different park manager. Now it's a different park manager. Hey, okay. It yeah. happens. But, um... Wow. What are the dimensions? 23 by 40. Smaller so, double yeah, wide. so smaller double wide. Yeah. But getting the, I mean, the, getting the price that you can get. The stairs, you didn't do anything to the stairs? We just added one little board and tightened it up and... Okay. And we're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint it the color of the house. Oh, okay. So that's that's still to come. Okay. Yeah. Gutters, beautiful skirting. What kind of skirting is this? Just normal. Uh, yeah. This we got yeah. this at uh, uh, local supplier. Wow. Um, this looks premium plus plan. Great. Did you do anything to the roof? Yeah, we added a new roof completely. Oh, that's it? <laughs> we just added a new one, you know. That was the first We threw hiccup. it on that there. Was the first, that you was the first hiccup. Well, you're right, because, I mean, did you, were there current evidence of leaks? Uh, no, there you, weren't, but then I had some people take a look at the soffit and fascia, and they're like, oh, the roof looks like it's got some issues. Can you show us where the soffit and fascia are on this home? Sure. Well, we got the gutters now, but basically this is the soffit and fascia, these two pieces. Excellent. So, um, before it was completely rotted out. Gorgeous. These uh, windows. Oh, my God. Yeah, we still need to get a cleaning company here just to kind of... Let's take a look at that. Clean up everything a little bit. Let's take a look at that roof. But believe it or not, the roof was... Uh, I found a solid deal on the roof. It only cost about three grand for the roof. When you say that, that's the... Um, you have professionals day. come in yeah. and... And what did they do? Did they put the... the the um, uh, the shingles right on top. Did they remove no, and we replace? Actually, uh, we put a whole new layer of uh, I think wood underneath it. This wow. way it would be even because uh, now you're Gorgeous. probably gonna you're looking at that swamp cooler. It's not in the greatest shape, but we are gonna repaint that the color white, and so it kind of will make it look freshened up and I mean, everything. Still, no, this is. Hey Dan, you there? I'm here. Awesome. Thanks for being on this, um, for calling or for being on this phone call because uh, this just wasn't coming through as clearly as I'd like for this uh, video because there's so much happened um, with this home and so, I mean, so much feeling, so much repairs. I mean, even look like, you know, what we're seeing right now, this whole home, you have material that, did any of this come with the, with the home? No, this was all stuff that I had to purchase uh, from Home Depot. Was um, this was the the biggest rehab that you ever had up until this point? Absolutely. Okay. By far, <laughs> not even like just a, not even close. Yeah. Um, did that overwhelm you? I mean, look, what we're seeing here, how much demo has been done actually? Very well. Actually, at this point, um, we put in new windows uh, because we actually had to. Um, wh while redoing the bathroom, we used um, shower inserts. And uh, to get those through the house, we had to knock out the windows and um, basically wow. redo that. Yeah, I mean, it was a, we redid the siding, so it just kind of worked its way okay. of redoing the windows a little bit because they were all um, shot. They really were. They they were very old and uh, not so well maintained. New windows throughout the whole the whole home. We did put new windows throughout the whole home. I mean, this home you're it, we're going to see, you know, kind of before, during, still during and then after. I mean, right now what we're seeing, um you rebuild this whole home. I mean, right here, like look at this. What when you got the home, you had to demo it to get to this point, right? Yeah, I will say um just like <sighs> Not knowing, I mean, I got into it knowing that it was going to be my biggest project, and I wanted to take that, but I didn't realize um, some of the things when you peel the layers uh, of the the problems that I guess appear and pop sure. out of nowhere, especially with an old home. Um, you know, from a I guess a 
a glance, it looked like it would be a little easier of a project, and I uh, had my costs at a, a certain level, but I did kind of do the right job on it by kind of being thorough with what needed to be done. So This is, okay, now, you can see clearly, I mean, outside of the home, right here. There's no siding on the home. There's mm -hmm. no insulation. You're just looking right through it. You've put more, I mean, this home now, it's, it's a practically a brand new home. I mean, you put so much money and time and effort into this home. I mean, this is a gorgeous manufactured home. Yeah. What is it, can you say that the, um, the age of the home again? This was a 1976 um, double. Do you mind sharing the number, uh, what you purchased for? Uh, 4,000. Okay. And, you know, that that's... That looks nice. Did you, is that, that was the before picture? That was actually the before picture, but um, there was p tile sticking out of the wall, so it was the, the wall itself was uneven. Um, you know, that sounds like a high price, but uh, the competitive marketplace... Um, and the hunger to have a good deal. I just wanted to take it because I wasn't found myself in a position where it's you know winter time, and I wanted to have a nice juicy deal. And this seemed like a, a good rehab opportunity, knowing the comps. So, so this was a so this was a buy, fix, and flip in your area. You can purchase a home, you can fix it, and you can fast turn it, just like a regular single family home. Absolutely. The ARV on this after you were going to sell it was before you purchased it. I mean, what were you thinking that the after repair value was going to be? Um, well, I felt like that we would probably be able to get anywhere from um, 50000 to $60,000 for the property. So that, that's, that's huge. Okay, so buying it for 4000 and selling it for fifty or 60000 cash, or even bank financing. So looking at the outside of this home, completely, how long was it naked like this? Because was the park happy about this? or The park was it? extremely happy oh, um, about this because this was probably one of the ugliest homes in the park. I mean, the siding was uh, had just uh, rotted Windows. wood, more or less, um, lots of holes. It, there was no skirting. It, it was really ugly. You know, it was orange, like a puke orange. <laughs> Did you do anything with the roof or the AC right there? Or the uh, Yeah. Actually, um, we did put a new roof on it. Beautiful. Um, is that the new roof that we're seeing? That there? was the new roof, yeah. Nice. And so a new soffit and fascia as well, um, because that was all deteriorated as well. Because that's what happens when you don't have gutters. Um, well and said. This, and this home did not have gutters, and so, you know, in just time, all the ice and, you know, just the, the moisture just drips over. down the house, and Wood it just run, destroys yeah. it, yeah. Uh, right here, we're seeing uh, we're in the kitchen. We're still you still have yet to do the the what the drywall in the back there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we're still and we're just chit chatting about who knows what. Now, when going through at, at this point, how many months had you or weeks you, had you hold on held down to the property at this point? Uh, I'm like only two months into it. Okay, so you're still positive, still upbeat. Now, for folks listening, we're gonna how many months did you finally like? How long was this deal did you, before you... Yeah. It, you, you had it sort of sold, but then to, like, finalize it... A lot of funky things were happening with this home, <laughs> uh, to say the I least. To say the um, least. There was a huge transition in the park uh, management. Oh. Um, I had three different managers I worked with. I worked with a regional manager. Was uh, that slowing things down specifically? Talking with yes, all those people? Yes, yes. Um, working with them and getting my buyer approved that I had on contract, as well as oh, okay. just, you know, making some leeway. Um, who, who were the other people before I cut you off? So your regional manager, uh, park, manager park manager. I had two park managers, a regional manager, okay. and then uh, you know the new assistants that kept revolving through the door. But um, you know the park was getting kind of a bad rep at, almost, and um, it made it a little bit more challenging to um, sell this home. Um, they were pulling in brand new homes as well. Um, but uh, I guess to answer your question, though, this ended up being a 10-month kind of deal. We did have some issues with um, my buyer. Uh, she was trying to... She needed to sell her home. She was downsizing, and um, her first realtor botched the job big time. So it got delayed significantly, and... I'm going to pause the video right here while mm -hmm. we're... Oh, that's a good spot to pause it. So she was... So you, you had this person, and we'll, we'll come back to talk about this a little bit later, but she had found you. She loved the home. She put down money. Um, she was actually... What try, or you just you mentioned she was trying to sell her home, yeah, and then another one thing fell through, another thing fell yeah, through. Yeah, it, so it was a lot on her end. Um, you know, I... It was, I guess, a... Uh, she was extremely grateful that I, you know, held on with her... Uh, 
I know there's probably opportunities for me to remarket this home, but I was really satisfied with the cash price that you know was offered and we had a contract on. And uh, you know, I, I did know what her old home, you know, the home that she was downsizing from, what that was, the situation around it. My handyman worked on her home. Um, I knew the comps. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that her home would sell. It just didn't realize it would take so long. I mean, she had three buyers fl- uh, flake out on her. So, One was the day before her agreement. That's uh, right. The closing. So, you know, that was a And you're waiting a money for that sale oh, man. to then to pay you. And you're yeah. already invested in this woman who you yeah. like, who you trust, who likes you, yeah. who's been will- you know, working with you. Yeah. And yeah. Well, do you mind the uh, we said what price that it was contracted for? Fifty nine thousand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So. And then no, she, um, okay, we'll go. We'll go on from there. But this is uh, so. I wanted to pause the video, and then now we're going to unpause it because we're going. We're actually now at like a kind of phase two. This is probably I don't know how many months in. Maybe you can say, but this is definitely a few weeks, maybe even months after that first video that we were taking. Yeah. Um, I and guess. Then, now we're going into a home that... Judging are- by what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any finished floor, so <laughs> um, I know I had those done, I want to say late April. Um, yeah, the floor registers were repaired. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of things that popped up with this home that really needed uh, some attention, so... You picked a little soft spot right there. Yeah. You have your marketing signs in the window. That's cool. The part Has that been a detriment, helpful? Like, do you, did you get other leads from the signs in the window? No doubt about it. I created several relationships and probably have made um, an additional 30000 um, from this one deal just on, um, you know, the brokering aspect alone. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the park, everybody knows who I am, and um, so uh, it's got a good strong strength hold on that. Right that on. What Maybe that's something you could do is, like, even if you sell a home, uh, have uh, some sort of agreement where, you know, let me keep my sign in the window, brother. I mean... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like it's my right to have my window. You know, I'm going to try oh, marketing this and sell that home, yeah. So, um... Uh, this is... Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Was that new? Yeah, that was new. So they put a uh, drywall box, um, you know, at the split of the home. There was some uh, wooden kind of pillar-looking thing, and it was just pretty cheesy. So, so did you have to say to your handyman? And I know I've said this a couple times, and for the folks listening, it's kind of a normal thing that you say. You know, you kind of uh, you'll take some suggestions, you know, to where you'll say, you know, this looks weird. I don't want this to look like this anymore. You know, and then. You go through some suggestions to make it look not weird. And right behind yeah. you, you can see over your hat, well, for, that's what they create. For instance, well, if we were to go back to that video, we're looking at the lighting. Okay. Um, my guys recommended to change the lighting. And in fact, they even did the lighting repairs for free because they insisted on putting recessed lighting into it to get that value into wow. that track lighting. So it was Damn. a really good connection. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they were emotionally involved in this house as well. Um you know, they wanted to see me achieve it, and that's the power of having a good relationship because, um, you know, they want to work with you again, too, in the future. So Absolutely. Keep them happy. This yeah. old uh, wall, you just did away with all that, any of that, uh, like, did you replace pretty much all the drywall in the home, or um, if stuff looked good, then you Yeah, if stuff was it? suitable enough, we would, you know, keep it. Was this room um, too small, or was that a good... Yeah, this room was, you know, I mean... It was not a good room to put that. It was so, just so really narrow, and okay. it, but it's a perfect office. You had to rebuild um, because we we walked this a few times. But this closet is new, right? Yes. There was a bath that was going into the yeah. bathroom. That funky kind of upwards uh, drain that we mm. saw that was right there. Yep. Or it was originally a closet, and then the person that owned it before I purchased it decided he was going to try to make the bathroom bigger um but you'd still have to go through the toilet <laughs> the toilet was still in the middle of the floor and you had to go around <laughs> it but um it didn't really make sense and that was definitely something i saw that needed to be addressed right away because if i was going to get any value for it you know it makes it into a bedroom that little room instead of an office yeah absolutely adding the closet and that you sold it for a three a three bedroom yep yep so um yeah, right here we're just looking at a... Oh, so no, uh, this was before, obviously, you put on new cabinets. 
Mm -hmm. Forgot about all that. Look at that. That kitchen is just bare. Yeah. Now, while you were doing this, you also had a number of other jobs going on as well. So, I mean, you had money pouring into this project. You had other projects that you're working on as well. Yeah. Does that, having so much money out, um, and we'll talk maybe a little bit later or on, uh, we'll do the the repairs thing, but ballpark with repairs. I mean, how much money were you into this home on the repair side? Um, I'd say, well... Repairs and the investment itself, um, probably thirty something thousand. Okay. Uh, so that's that's so for four thousand for the home. So pl- twenty five plus in repairs and labor material. Yeah. I mean that's huge. That's a no. You can buy a whole another mobile home for that. Yeah. But you're, so you're making such a quality thing. I mean that's part of what I want to get across in the brand new tub. Yeah, I mean it. It, it kind of spun a little bit more out of control than I would have liked, okay. but um, again. The, the stuff needed to get done properly. Um, there was, uh, you just had a lot of issues. And again, if there, if you can see the potential of um, getting a top dollar value for it and know that it's possible, then, um, you know, I, I knew I was still making money on the deal. So, uh, and I had no problems or you know worries about this thing selling or not so you're selling a good product and that's why the woman was waiting for you for eight months or give or take okay so now we're back out beautiful uh scenery imagine coming out of your mobile home and your mobile home park is like looking at the mountains (laughs) uh your neighbors were they pretty cool everybody was great um you know in fact those could even be future opportunities as well oh yeah um, you know lots of uh relationship building one uh the gals uh, she was protecting my house and you know she'd keep an eye on it let me know if there was any buddy taking a look at it and things like that and just uh it just you know having somebody's eye on it that lives in right next door um just made me feel great because you know we had a lot of tools and product in this house so you know you got to <laughs> Make sure certain things are out of the window of view if they're going to be in the house and locked up the shed. Let's sort of talk about that. So I'll, I'll, after, I mean, obviously, you know, very good profit. I uh, sold it for cash, which is which is doable. And in some markets, that absolutely is, you know, know your comps. Um, but besides the sell, it taking, you know, uh, what, over a year to actually finalize or pretty uh, close no, to it? Was it? 10 months. Okay, 10 months to, yeah. you know, finalize in and out of your hands. Um Besides that, um, besides all the stuff that we that you didn't know going into a home, which by the way, things are always going to come up. The seller is always going to omit something. Wow, that's a beautiful looking outside of the home. Look at that from what it was, that plywood type of material or the plywood that it was. You just yeah. put down a weather barrier over it uh-huh. and then they came in with the... That's gorgeous. Thanks. Um, and then you match the, the sh- that what, shed right there? Yep, match the shed and... Uh Gorgeous. Just had a lot. The you know the shed in itself was its own demo project too, because I think somebody at one time lived inside the shed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There was electrical connections to it, so we had to disconnect all that. And did somebody tell you to disconnect it, or you just thought that was like, no, you know, it was the just, safety way yeah, to go? Yeah, it wasn't. It, now we're getting to more of a, uh, I think, an after repair, right? Or this is more of a. It looks like most or a lot of things are done. Yeah, it looks like a lot of like the flooring was in it. Um, Let's talk about, uh, you know, other problems with this home. Or if there were, I mean, we just talked about two huge ones. The fact that there were, you know, a ton of things that just kept coming up, mm-hmm. more budget. But you had the exp- you had the budget in there to fix it. There was a lot of profit in this home. Yeah. So you could overspend some. Um, but any other kind of horror stories, nightmares? Yeah, I'd say we had a lot of uh, challenges just managing uh, particular contractors. You know, um, there was a time where... Um, you know, you got to just be careful because there could be drama, you know, between different contractors and that's what arose. Um, and I had to manage, um, people at that point, you know, it was more babysitting or less, them. Baby, I was babysitting and, um, you know, these are grown adults and they weren't acting like it. Um, but, uh, you know, having to, um, work with certain people that were not mature enough, um, to see the vision or even, um, fulfill what they said that they would be doing. Um, Did you have people tough. run out on you on uh, tools or money or no anything? tools or anything? Just, um, just a lot of drama. When one person was working, um, he just had a hard time working with my crew. 
Um, and um, yeah, you know, he was a trusted resource too, and that's what made him even more difficult. But um, what a stupid thing! I mean, not and, that, and, that, and that's very valid, and that happens a ton. But it's like how crazy that you have to you're doing all this other stuff and managing this entire business that's trying to help people, and then you have to manage a babysit somebody yeah. that you yeah. uh, it, 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 it got a little money. out of control so I mean we had to uh, you know I think he actually did um, a bad job in certain areas that I had to rehire certain people to wow. uh, fix you know I think there was times where he was doing certain work in spite of me you know I mean it, it got to kind of a nasty situation but you know just having to deal with that was a challenge um, and then you know again the Turbulence of the, uh, I guess, the park management, it going up and down with new people, um, that was big. And then at one time in the summer, while I still was holding on to this property, a hailstorm came back and we had to replace the brand new roof that was put on because wow. it was actually totaled. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we put a brand new roof on insurance it Insurance covered that? Insurance covered it. Awesome. So yeah, I highly recommend having insurance because you really never know what's going to happen. Especially with this much money tied into it. Any so. tips or advice for that? Who, um, what type of insurance? I personally you? worked with, um, <clears throat> I believe it was Foremost, mm -hmm. and uh, really Very satisfied good. with them. Their people were so nice. Awesome. Um, yeah. So nice. Great. So, yeah, yeah, I actually had two roofs replaced at that time, um, and uh, but they were really you know good with uh, working with me on that. What would that have cost had you not? Um... Shoot, three to five thousand. More like ten. Yeah, yeah, more to ten to twelve thousand. So, okay. so yeah. insurance exists for a reason. <laughs> so now we're seeing some of those in uh, recess lights. We're seeing uh, the cabinets. We're seeing, well, almost the fin the finished home. You obviously have to hang one or two more doors, mm -hmm. um, but you have the carpet in. You have the drywall on. You have one or two light fixtures still. It look it looks like. But now, now, how long? Because you had this home fixed up, what's the what was the waiting period between when you had it fixed up, you had the buyer on the line? Because that's what it was. You you had this buyer on the line for seven months, six months. Yeah. I mean, you fixed the home. People saw it. How many people had to walk through before they actually liked it? Um, believe it or not, um, I probably had like ten, five to ten people look at it. She was uh, pretty adamant about buying it, and I knew she was a serious buyer because again, I saw. I knew more, you know, I knew about the real estate situation of where I uh, work, and um, she had a lot of, uh, she had the money. So, bottom line, she was going to have the money, and um, I was okay with that because, you know, once you kind of have a lot of investment in a property, um, you know, I'm thinking I can get this done as soon as I can, and as per schedule, I was totally um, satisfied with what the time frames were going to be, then so it just got drawn be. out. Yeah, then it just got drawn out. But more time goes by, you're more invested. One buyer yeah. falls through, the next buyer falls through. So and, I, and I remember talking to you through all this. Yeah. And then as this is happening, um, just the months and months go by. Now she was floating the lot rent payments. Believe, yes, right? she was uh, paying lot rent, so I wasn't paying lot rent for those ten months. I only started paying lot rent for. Uh, I think I did like five lot rents, um, and then it kind of just got to the discussion of after her first uh, her first deal fell through, um, she essentially you know felt really bad and she really wanted the property, so she asked me to um, have her you know to allow her to pay the lot rent. So I had no problems with that. Wow. Okay. So okay, but then how did how did this make you feel? I mean, you have. 35, or well, I don't know, the ballpark, 30-some yeah. 30 K yeah. rolled up in this property. I mean, great, and it's sort of a piggy bank. It's there. It's like the potential energy. It's not kinetic energy or, you know, realized yeah. yet, but it's like, how does that make you feel in general? Could you, did you have to just, like, pause your business? So, um, it definitely stalled out in a lot of areas, uh, my business. I mean, I think I probably could have had a much more profitable year if I had the money for this um, at an earlier stage of the uh, the year. However, um, you know, I think the thing that is really stressful for it is I had all the work done. I even got the fences repaired as you're, you know, I think that's what you're pointing at right now. <laughs> um, you know, I had everything done, but then I also had to then um, maintain the property, you know, cut the lawn. I had to, I was cleaning the skirting, just making sure it's white. And, you know, honestly, if in case the lady who I had on contract fell through, I was still 
keeping this property as tight as I could. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of little things that were popping up. I mean, I had to winterize the uh, swamp cooler after I had it repaired and everything. How'd you go about do, doing that? Um, there was a local guy who actually who did my skirting. He also, he's the handyman of the park. Excellent guy. One of the best people to work with. Just a good guy. You asked the park manager for those contacts? Um, I... Either the park manager, or the maintenance, um, and you know, I'd see him driving up and down the road. He actually had a drives a unique vehicle, small uh, vehicle. That's his like handyman vehicle throughout the park. Golf and, cart? Uh, no, I, I couldn't even tell <laughs> you. It's like it's like a, uh, it's like a mini truck. It's kind of it's funny. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cool though. It totally works. And uh, this looks gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, I'm trying to back up here. Yeah, and I mean, in this video, I did paint that wooden siding as well. I mean, not the, excuse me, not the siding, the stairs. Okay. Um, Actually, the color of the home, like the shed, so it blends in. It looks better than a lot of these other homes here in the back. I mean, you know, all these homes, I'm sure, are nice, but yours are clearly, the the vinyl siding obviously takes off 20 years. Yeah, it totally made a pop. I mean, it really helped fill in the. other homes that were nearby that they were trying to you know bring into the park too any quick advice for um newer investors getting into you know getting in uh, trying to maybe do something that they're like hey i want to buy fix and flip this mobile home yeah well, I, mean, I would say um not to do it until you actually know the comps well enough to get yourself into that situation i do realize that I went against the grain. For, you got to realize that you got to know your market. I mean, if your market can support that type of cash buyer, and if that demand is there, then you'll easily, you know, you can easily sell a home for that type of price. But if you are um, in a market that doesn't have much job opportunity, that's not seeing growth, there's no way in hell you want to invest in that, you know, that much into it, even that much time into it. Um, you know, um, I know for sure that. If I was comparing this with other states, I definitely overpaid for the the, the home, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, but I recognized there was an opportunity, and yeah. you know, this is winter, and I didn't think it would take as long to sell. So I thought right. this would be a nice chunk of change really quick, and you know, we got the work done in a fast enough time, um, and I would have been happy if it closed on time uh, with it all. But uh, yeah, it, it just kind of took a little while. So just be careful with where you're putting your money in, um, and you got to recognize that market. Uh, it, I would say if you're going to dive into it, the market supports it, maybe have a construction background. I didn't have that background either, but I do know what it takes to sell a mobile home. So that's what I had working for me. Dan, thanks so much for coming on this call. Uh, this really helped, I think, streamline exactly what was happening, what kind of went through your mind, a little bit more about the fix and the fast turn, and that this is possible when you do know your numbers. But things do not go as planned uh, often. I mean, you know, we try to, but they don't go as planned, and that's why insurance exists. Because totally. you had that, you know, that reasons, and that's why you build in that extra cost because you went over budget, but. Uh, you know, obviously the the exit strategy that you had supported this deal. Mm-hmm. Dan, thank you so much again for being on this, or you know, for for hopping on and going out of your way and hopping on this call. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks for having me.